we are looking at chapter number 7 which is control and coordination question and answer on control and coordination so in our body it may be animal it may be plants there has to be some coordination between different parts like leaves like stem in plants in in uh, our case or in animals brain then body then skin different organs how they are controlled how they coordinate this this is the basis of these question answers which of the following is a plant hormone so insulin is uh, ours thyroxine estrogen these are all ours so cytokinin cytokinin is the plant hormone the gap between two neurons is called synapse synapse you can say the brain is, is is responsible for you know brain is responsible for all uh, control and mostly all the coordination so all of the above thinking regulating the heartbeat balancing the body so answer would be d what is the function of receptors in our body receptors or you can say sensors in our body think of situation where receptors do not work properly what hap what happen uh, when this doesn't work what problems you are likely to face or likely to arise see receptors are sensory structures and basically what they are they are organs tissues or cells and they are present in all over the body for example eye ear what are they eye receives light ear receives sound so these receptors are uh, you can combine them in the form of eye or ear or even they can be scattered in the form of uh, in the skin right so what are the basic functions of receptor first of all for any external thing stimulus or stimuli they sense the external stimuli like the heat or pain they also trigger an impulse in the sensory neuron which will send message to the spinal cord spinal cord is very important if these receptors are damaged the external effects or stimuli transferring signal to the brain they will not be felt because brain should know what is going on in the case of damaged receptors if we accidentally touch any hot object let us take an example our ha hands they might burn but but you will not feel any heat or pain draw the structure of neuron and explain its function so this is a neuron this is the cell total cell because we have nucleus here these are the these are the dendrites and these are the axon so axon transfers the thing outside dendrite takes the things take the signals messages and cells is for you know growth and development so neurons these are the functional unit of nervous system the three main parts of neuron these are axon the dendrites and the cell body so let us see the function of uh, each of them axon it conducts messages away away from the cell body the dendrite it receives information from axon of another cell and then conducts the message towards this is very important this this sends message away this takes the message towards the cell body and what is cell body it contains all those contents which are there in uh, cell nucleus mitochondria other organisms organelles also and this is mainly concerned with the maintenance growth and development how does phototropism occurs in plant what is phototropism uh, when plant are subjected to light they tend to bend towards the light so the movement of plant in response to light is known as phototropism and how does this stem see if this is a plant it it bends like this you know, somewhat bend little bend but there, there is a bending so when growing plant detect light a hormone which is known as auxin this is synthesized at the shoot tips this helps the cell to grow longer when a light is coming from say one side of the plant the auxin would diffuse towards the shady side of the shoot because everywhere light will not come 
and this concentration of this auxin stimulates the cell to grow longer on the side of the shoot which is not subjected to light or away from light that is why the plant appeared to bend towards the light which is phototropism which signals will get disrupted in case of spinal cord injury now everything comes to spinal cords because this is spinal cord which sends the uh, you know message or signal to brain and to and fro the brain so this reflex our connection between the input and output nerves they meet in a bundle where in spinal cord and uh, in fact what happens here is the nerves from all over the body they actually meet in a bundle in the spinal cord on their way to brain so if in case of uh, any injury to the spinal cord the signals coming from the nerves as well as the signal which is coming from the receptor will be disrupted how does chemical coordination occurs in plants animals and humans they have nervous system and this nervous system is responsible for controlling and coordinating all the activities of the body but in the case of case of plants they neither have nervous system nor do they have muscles so these plants they respond to stimuli by showing movements the growth development and responses to the environment in plants is controlled and coordinated by a special class of chemical substances and we know it as hormones so these hormones they are produced in say one part of the plant body say here here and they are translocated to the needy part say here this way uh, let us take an example a hormone uh, produced in say roots is translocated to another part so there are five major types of phytohormone the the plant hormone there are auxins gibberellins cytokinins abscisic acid and ethylene they can be growth promoter they can be growth inhibitor so auxins gibberellins cytokinins and ethylenes these are growth promoters and abscisic acid these are growth inhibitors what is the need for a system of control and coordination in organism it can be organism and you can you know extend it to plants also why it is required see a body the maintenance of, of the body functions because body has many organs many parts many things so the maintenance of body function in response to changes in the body by working together of various integrated body functions this is known as coordination and all the movements that occur in response to the stimuli they are carefully coordinated and controlled in animals what happens the control and coordination movement are provided by what by nervous and muscular system right and message come and mus muscle will respond so the nervous system sends message to and fro that is to and away from the brain spinal cord also plays a vital role it plays an uh, important role in the relay of messages in its substance the system of control and coordination the body or body will not be able to function properly so anything which is from outside stimulus or anything from inside both needs to be properly controlled and coordinated for instance if we again touch some hot utensil we immediately remove or withdraw our hand if there is no nerve transmission we will not be able to remove or you know withdraw our hand and we may get burned how are involuntary actions and reflex actions different from each other involuntary actions cannot be consciously controlled you cannot control what is going on in your stomach when you eat food you don't know so we cannot consciously control the movement of food in the say alimentary canal or pumping of blood through heart you cannot control your heart the time you were born the stomach and heart is working these are all involuntary actions but these actions somewhere is controlled by the brain on the other hand reflex actions your your eyes get closed you will close your eyes immediately when there is a bright light and this is sudden response 
and there is no time for thinking. So this is these are reflex actions. That is why, unlike this involuntary actions, the reflex actions which has no time, it has to be done quickly. They are not under the control of your brain. Compare and contrast nervous and hormonal mechanisms for control and coordination in animals. First, in nervous, the information is conveyed in the form of electric pulse. In hormonal, the hormonal system mechanism, the information is conveyed in the form of chemical messengers. Here, electrical impulse, here, chemical messengers. In the nervous system, we have axon and dendrites. They transmit the information through a coordinated effort. Axon away. Dendrite, dendrites towards. In hormonal, that information is transmitted or transported through blood. In nervous, the flow of information is rapid and the response is quick. In hormonal, the information travels slowly and the response is slow. The effort are short lived in nervous system mechanism, the effort or the effects are prolonged in hormonal system mechanism. What is the difference between the manner in, in which movement takes place in sensitive plant and movement in our legs? So we have to differentiate, you know, plant and animal like things. First is the movement uh, in when we talk about sensitive plants like the mimosa pudica. When you touch it, it is a stimulus. So in a response to certain touch or any animal touches it, it does something. This is, these are sensitive plants. The movement in our leg, the, the movement of our leg when we walk, this is voluntary action, right? The movement in sensitive plant, for this movement, the information is transmitted from cell to cell by electrochemical signals because the plant do not have any specialized tissue for conduction of impulses that we have. That, that is, the signal or message for these actions are passed to the brain and hence consciously controlled. So, movement of our, our leg is consciously controlled by brain. In this case, for the this movement to take place occur, the plant cell change shape by changing the amount of water in them. They change shape according to or with respect to the amount of water they have. In the movement in our leg, the animal muscle cells, some proteins are found which allow the movement to occur. So these are Question and answer in control and coordination, plants and animals. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.